All right, let's find a simplified form of this function. Uh, first thing I'm going to do is set up my next function after I have uh, factored out everything that I can from all of these. And of course, uh, it's not going to change the operations or how many fractions I have, just what they will look like. So I'm going to start by factoring first from this 2y minus 6, which if I factor out a 2, then I get a y minus 3. So that will go here in the function. And then I've also got right here my y squared minus 9, which is the difference of squares. So I would have y minus 3 and y plus 3, which will go below my purple there. All right, and this y right here, uh, there's nothing else we can do with that. Same with the y minus 1. That's just going to remain the same. Here I've got a y squared plus 2, which, again, I can't factor out. Uh, but I can look at this y squared. So we're looking here, y squared plus 2y minus 3. We should be able to split this up into 3 and negative 1. So in other words, this should split up into y plus 3 and also y minus 1. So now we have this new expression. And um, what we need to be looking for here is common denominators, which are going to allow us to um, add and subtract these fractions. But first, it may also be helpful to see that this y minus 3 and this y minus 3 will cancel out. The reason why it's important to notice that right now is because it's going to save us multiplying y minus 3 in the other two fractions here and here. So that leaves us with a new function. So this is what we have now after canceling those out. And now we just need to find uh, differences amongst the denominators. So I'm going to put that y minus 1 in parentheses. Uh, starting from the left, we see we've got an x plus 3. Uh, I'm sorry, that should be a y plus 3. There we've got a y plus 3. Uh, this y minus 1 doesn't, so we need to tag that on as a y plus 3 here. But we need to multiply it in the numerator as well as y plus 3. Here in this third term, we've got already a y plus 3 in the denominator. So now we have a y plus 3 that's common with all three terms. Next, let's look at y minus 1. Uh, this first term doesn't have y minus 1, so I'm going to put that in there as y minus 1. So I need to multiply the 2 by y minus 1 as well. And the third term does have it. So now that I have common denominators in all three terms, I can rewrite this. And here's my new function. So all I need to do is simplify the numerator there. So what I'm going to do is distribute the 2 and the y into their respective parentheses. And now I have this new expression. All I'm going to be looking to do from this point is to find terms to combine. So uh, like terms, I've got a 2y plus a 3y. And that would give us that 5y. Um, if we look at this, and I probably should have shown the distribution of this minus right here, so that's going to be minus 2 right there. Um, if I combine this negative 2 with this negative 2, then I get a minus 4. And then we got this y squared and this negative y squared, which cancel out. And so we're left with the function 5y minus 4 over the quantity y minus 1 times quantity y plus 3. And this, in the end, is our final answer because 5y minus 4 cannot be simplified.